What's up guys, I'm here in St. Pete, Florida at the Strength Camp with Chris Barnard and he's going to talk to you a little bit about how he trains his professional baseball athletes and some of the things that he thinks are really important to be a better baseball player. Thanks yeah, so much absolutely. for being here. Absolutely, and, thank you and brother, talk I appreciate it. Him. Absolutely man. So yeah, so when I take my approach in every offseason as far as training the baseball players that I work with, First and foremost, I say, what's our needs analysis? So every single year and every single off season, you should be coming in to that off season thinking, what's one tool I can add to my toolbox? When I train my guys here, we sit down before we get into that training, we say, hey, what's one thing, whether it be in the field, whether it be hitting, whether it be velocity, whether it be power, no matter what it is, you wanna find that one weakness and you really wanna attack it that off season. Once we've established that, we can then go ahead and build a program. I focus on three main uh, areas. It's structure, strength, and speed when it comes to baseball players. Structure, I wanna keep your shoulder and your elbow healthy. So I'm gonna do a lot of prehab movements. In baseball, you guys are very pattern overload. What that means is, I'm performing a thousand repetitions when I'm hitting the ball. I'm performing thousands of repetitions when I'm throwing. And what that does is it makes your body have muscular imbalances. You actually start to get really tight in certain areas. So what I wanna do is I wanna focus on the health of those certain areas, like your shoulder and your elbow. And I also wanna add corrective stretches to be able to take your body into a more symmetrical area, right? So I wanna make it more symmetrical as opposed to slumped over, tight biceps, tight pec, things of that nature. So I really wanna focus on shoulder and things of that nature. Next, for you guys, especially the young crowd, I wanna focus on brute strength. As we, as we continue to grow our, uh, uh, be able to overcome resistance or grow our strength in the core movements, such as pushing, pulling, squatting, and bending, we can then transfer that over to the field. So if I'm having a strong squat or a strong deadlift or strong bend pattern, now I can transfer this over to the field to where I'm utilizing my leg to be able to hit harder. Finally, I say speed. Speed is where kind of the phase where I start to focus on the things that are gonna be tangible to your actual, to you actually in the sport. So no matter what position you play, uh, be outside of pitcher, obviously pitcher is gonna need these as well. There's a couple key movements that we wanna focus on. With my guys in here, I train a lot of utility players, a lot of guys who are hitting. So uh, when, when you're hitting, a lot of that is gonna focus on rotational movements. So I'm gonna do a lot of med ball movements where you're throwing ballistically the med ball. Um, if you're coming and you're actually running off a of base, I'm gonna focus on speed, which is for that matter actually focusing on your 60 yard dash if you have a showcase or in, in coming off first base and being able to steal second. There's actually mechanics involved with that. You guys wanna really focus on that, which you can check out on my channel. And in addition to that, um, movements that are going to overall help and support, you know, actually transferring that strength to you throwing and hitting further. And uh, those are the three pillars that you really wanna focus on. So if you, so to recap, Real quick, structure, we wanna make sure that we're taking care of our body. We wanna make sure that we're taking care of, of balancing out our shoulders, our elbows, our hips, our core, basically our trunk right here, because again, like I said, unless you're a switch hitter, you're, you're, you're performing thousands of repetitions. You wanna almost unring that like a washcloth. Next, we wanna focus on brute strength. Brute strength is gonna obviously make sure that you can transfer that over to power. Your power and speed is what's gonna actually make you hit further and throw faster. Um, and that's about it as far as training those three. Those are the three that I ma mainly focus on. Um, I get more in depth with them with the guys, but those are the three that you should be highlighting. Obviously the, the needs analysis, like I said, putting one tool in your toolbox and then focusing on those three each off season and you'll become a better baseball player. That's great info, man. If you guys haven't already checked out Chris's channel, it's Overtime Athletes. He's got a bunch of great stuff. I've been watching him for years and everything that he says, I'm on board with. So you gotta go check it out. Uh, I'll leave a link to his channel down below. Go do it right now. Awesome, thanks, bro. Lord knows I'm 50 rich. All the sides of life, 50 bricks. Rap. Throwing hits and fits, I get my bitch a stat just for a Christmas gift And my bitch so bad she on my Christmas list Remember I pray really, I wish for this To get the crew with the maiden with the pick and fits I'm with the that man with took a risk for this so